Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Shukesh once again. Welcome to the second episode of the awesome tips and tricks video series on the all new OnePlus 6. This new smartphone is not only beautiful on the outside but also extremely smart inside. As you know, Oxygen OS is running on top of Android Oreo 8.1, which seems like stock Android, but in disguise, you get some software features that are mind blowing awesome and extremely handy in day-to-day -day life usage so the purpose of this video is to show off those great features so that you get the most out of this device so without any further ado let's get started let's first talk about the little guy at the bottom right corner you don't get this by default so don't worry i will show you how to enable this feature it's extremely useful and kind of cool actually the feature is called select to speak that is I think you got it. It will speak whatever you touch or select. In the browser, this feature is very handy. You can make the guy read out the content, like just tap this guy and select any paragraph and it will read out the whole paragraph. A collapsible control bar will pop up at the bottom as well. You can pause whenever you want and also skip to the next part. The speed of the readout can be increased or decreased. So just relax and let this guy read out the whole content for you. Now if you tap on any paragraph, this select to speak feature will read out that paragraph only but if you drag, you can select the whole content or multiple paragraphs. To enable this awesome feature on your OnePlus, go to your settings menu. Scroll down to Advanced, then Accessibility. There you have the option Select to Speak. OnePlus 6 comes with 6GB as well as 8GB RAM variants, so multitasking is a piece of cake on this smartphone and OnePlus has given you an option to deep clean the recent applications, I mean when you kill them, some applications might still work in the background like send you notifications and all. So if you wish you can keep your RAM clean, there is an option under advanced settings, recent app management, you get normal clear by default but if you switch to deep clear then all of your background processes will be cleared, some apps may not be even able to send you notifications at all, so I think this will somewhat boost the battery backup. But this may lead to unintended results in some cases, so better switch to normal clear unless you really need this. In addition to that, you can also clear the cache memory of your OnePlus 6 manually. For example, right now, cache data size is 328 MB. So let's see how much cache data we can clear. It will take some time. This OnePlus 6 is just 2 days old and already the cache data is more than 300 MB, after clearing it's just 23 MB, so these are mostly junk files, it's okay to clear the cache data when it's really big, it doesn't of course slow down the phone, so this is something you can do at least once in a month or once in a week if you are a heavy user. Now there is a very useful native Android feature I want to talk about, which some of you guys might missed. There is this pin icon that shows up on your most recent application and this can pin this application to the screen. If you want to pin any other application just open that and pin from your recent app list. So what it does is it restricts the user from closing the application, I mean you can use the app the way you want but you cannot close it and access other files and apps on the phone. So if you are lending this phone to your friend, you can just pin the app or game he or she wants to use so that he cannot close the application and access your personal data. This even does not close if you switch off the screen, so it's a very very handy feature and if the user is aware of this feature and knows how to unpin the application then also your files are secured. Just tap and hold the back and the app switcher to unpin the application and the phone will go back to the lock screen. That is if your phone is password protected then it will be locked. To enable this feature open your settings menu and scroll down, look for the option security and lock screen. Then scroll down all the way to the bottom, there you have the option screen pinning. Make sure you turn on both because anybody can know how to unpin an application. 
Now guys, let me give you some quick tips on how to customize your phone. Oxygen Waze comes with stock Android UI and to make your phone interesting and stand out from the crowd, you should definitely try customizing your phone. So tap and hold and go to your home settings, then icon pack. There I have few more installed for you. I love the viral icon pack a lot. Just click on more and download hundreds more from the Play Store. A lot of these are free. Now you must already know if you tap and hold on most of the applications you get some shortcuts list, your frequently used options and settings which is really useful and time saving. Now the fun part is if you tap and hold on any of these shortcuts, you can pin these shortcuts or actions to your home screen. How cool is that? So for a new tweet just click and start typing. Now suppose you have installed an icon pack but don't particularly like an app icon then you can customize that, you can even change the label so you can rename WhatsApp to anything you want and also change the icon for WhatsApp to anything you want from any other icon pack on your phone. Just like that, really cool. If you can create your own icon then that will be dope. Now that's not all for some apps, you might see an option called widgets if you just swipe right and there you go. Now you know just tap and hold on any of these widgets and add them to your home screen. Just like that. Now WhatsApp right from your home screen. Now if you go for the mirror black version of OnePlus 6 then the dark theme perfectly goes with the phone, I mean it's an optic AMOLED screen and black is pure black blends with the bezel and also this is battery saving you can customize the accent color so let me show you how to apply the dark theme and also later i will show you the avengers theme which is exclusive to 256 gig version of oneplus 6 you will find the theme option under the display settings if you go for the white color of oneplus 6 then the light theme will be more suitable now there you have the Avengers theme on the OnePlus 6 Avenger edition. It's basically the dark theme with Avenger wallpaper on the home screen and also on the lock screen. The makeover is mostly on the outside with carbon fiber like mesh design and Avengers logo, golden color alert slider and also you get 256 gig of storage and 8 gig of RAM. Now since a lot of you guys asked about this. On your OnePlus 6, you can install two Geo SIM cards that is two 4G SIM cards side by side and use 4G network on both SIM cards at the same time. Now do you know that your OnePlus 6 can capture raw images? Just go to your Pro mode and at the top you have this raw option which captures DNG format raw images. I hope you know what raw is. It's like negatives in your film photography directly from the sensor without any kind of processing so there is nothing altered, you have the maximum information which is easier and much more efficient to edit later on your softwares. The native gallery app on your OnePlus 6 does not have any editing option for raw files and also raw images take almost 6 or 7 times more space on your phone because of all the information so Keep that in mind, this image is more than 31 MB. If you are a photography enthusiast, then definitely this is something very exciting for you. Now there is a new feature on your OnePlus 6. When you delete an image that still remains in your phone for 30 days, just like recycle bin on your PC. So it's a very useful feature. In other way, if you have any sensitive content on your phone and you want to delete that permanently, then make sure you check your recently deleted folder. Now on the image thumbnails, you get to see how many days are remaining. So tap and hold on the images you want to delete forever or you can also click on recover and move these images to the camera gallery. Now let me share with you a shorthand trick on the camera when you are recording at 60fps whether it's in 4K or 1080p the viewing angle is actually quite wide 60fps makes your video smooth and wider so it's the preferred option I think whether you are recording at 4K or 1080p as you can see the video slightly zoomed in let me switch to 1080p 60fps and you get more field of view, so there is no meaning of recording at 30fps. 
with the help of the secondary camera, OnePlus 6 can capture mind-blowing portrait images with background blur and on this OnePlus 6 you get this new option to change the shape of the bokeh light color which is really cool. Definitely try this out if you are shooting at night. To switch the cameras you can double tap anywhere on the viewfinder. The fingerprint sensor at the back can be used as the camera shutter. Just tap and hold for a while. It's more convenient when you are taking selfies and also you can tap anywhere on the viewfinder to set the exposure and the focus. To use fingerprint sensor as the camera shutter, just go to your settings menu then gestures. At the top you will have this option long press to take a photo. OnePlus 6 can now record 480p slow motion videos at 720p resolution for 1 minute and if you switch to 1080p it's at 240fps. For better result record slow motion videos under direct sunlight for minimizing this flickering and also for better light. Guys let me now talk about parallel apps. As you can see I have two Facebook apps side by side. These two apps run two different accounts so if you have two Facebook to WhatsApp or Twitter Instagram accounts you can maintain both accounts at the same time on your OnePlus 6. Just go to your settings menu scroll down to the option apps then parallel apps the compatible applications will show up in the list just enable any of these to duplicate the apps on your home screen since this is a dual sim device this makes more sense you can now whatsapp using your both sim cards now on your oneplus 6 you have a native app locker that is you can lock any of your applications and you can either use your fingerprint sensor or your password but face unlock cannot be enabled for app lock it's nice to have a native app locking feature on your oneplus 6 because most of the third party applications are infected with adware and malware and also much easier to crack the app locking feature is available under security and lock screen settings if you triple tap the power key of your oneplus 6 you can call the police right away it will call 112 so if you are in danger, if you are getting killed or mugged, just do this and call the police as fast as possible. The functionality of the alert slider on your OnePlus 6 has been changed. Now at the middle you get vibration and at the top silent mode. So no more do not disturb mode on the slider. You can access to DND from the toggles in the notification center and to set your preferences go to your settings menu scroll down to the option sound and vibration do not disturb preferences guys we are at the end of the second part of the awesome tips and tricks video series on the all new oneplus 6 i hope that this video was informative stay tuned for the part 3 which is the last part and i'm telling you guys the part 3 will be the best part in this video series so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch don't forget to turn on the bell icon this is shukesh signing off for today thanks a lot for watching see you on my next video